Today we've got a new hybrid from Callaway, the Paradigm AI Smoke HL. We're gonna review it for you and tell you everything you need to know. We've got Kevin Kraft here to hit all the shots and Trackman to provide all the information. Golfers, if you haven't yet, make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel and you give this video a like and then tell us in the comments what you think of the AI Smoke HL Hybrid and any of the Paradigm AI Smoke products from Callaway. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol with Second Swing Golf, joined by Kevin Kraft here at the Minnetonka Tour Van, and today we've got a new hybrid. It is the Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke HL, a mouthful, but um, sure to deliver performance. Um, and some new technology in here for sure, uh, that's inevitable with Callaway. Yeah. But first, I gotta ask you first impressions on this thing when you look at it. Um, cool new color scheme. Yeah. Love the colors. Um, it's, you know, First impressions, right? It's always going to be what yeah. what, I'm, what I'm looking at. Uh, Callaway's not necessarily always had my favorite color schemes. I had no connection whatsoever to the University of Texas, so um, <laughs> that that burnt orange just yeah. really didn't do it for me. Uh, but this is nice. This is really good. I like the mm -hmm. I like the accents and everything. Um, uh, it's adjustable. First thing that's going to put a real big smile on my yeah. face is going to be adjustability. I love that. Um, it's a good looking golf club. It's uh, Callaway through the years has kind of ebbed and flowed in terms of their hybrid their, shapes. their hybrid shapes. I know exactly you know, what you're talking things about. Things look kind of like a toenail, and yeah. you know, um, this is, does not. It's much more <laughs> pleasing to the eye. The last couple of generations have been uh, much more pleasing. So, right, yeah. right. And so, also to clarify, there are two other hybrids mm. in the Paradigm AI Smoke family. There's the standard, and then the uh, Max Fast. Uh, we do not. We only have the HL today, so we're going to review this. More content coming in the other models, of course. Um, the technology involved that the new club face architecture yeah. and design, AI smart face. So, Kelly did a bunch of testing this year. Both, I mean, they they've done robots in the past mm -hmm. to develop and then kind of um, get the data, and then ultimately with artificial intelligence, they have this face design. More human golf shot testing this year. So really more smart. dynamics and variables involved there. Um, so ultimately the face structure on this thing is designed to add more performance on the most common places on the face where the ball is hit, which is sometimes in the center, but sometimes not in the center. Yeah. So um, yeah. behind that club face, you're gonna see there's all those ripples and the very unique shape that could not be come up or come into the mind of a human. It is an AI design. Do you know the percentage of shots hit not off the center? Do you remember um, this from from a few years back? Study done. I don't. I don't. Uh, uh, do you know it? Seventy four percent are off. all shots hit across in, the in planet are not hit in the center, in the center of the club. That's place, a lot, right? That's so a lot. why then would they go in and try and figure out how to make the rest of the golf club better? Yeah, you know that it just really makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it does. If we're not all going to hit it right here, and I'm not going to hit it right three there all the time, of the shots are going to be not there. Yeah. Um, you yeah. know, let's try to make it better everywhere else. Sure. So, yeah. So, um, 21 degrees is the four hybrid today. Yes. So we'll hit a few shots with this. Talk, talk about how it feels, sure. talk about the performance. Um, we'll come back and kind of recap it. Cool. Does that sound good? Sounds Should great. To hit? Yeah. Bang it. All right, Kevin, you know the drill. Tell me what it now looks like at address. Does anything else come to mind when you uh, look down at the AI Smoke HL? Looks like a hybrid. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> good. That's <laughs> a good thing. It's good. It's a good looking golf club. Yeah. Right. Uh, the shape is 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 appealing. Size is nice. It's not overly big. It's not mm -hmm. you know not too small. Um, see a fair amount of the face. Some some you'll see more face. Some you won't. Um, this is not an offensive amount of face. So okay. yeah, it's my my delicate sensibilities um <laughs> yeah it looks good it looks good um i'll be interested to see whether anybody gets annoyed by the the ai smoke in the in the white color oh, here. yeah i do see um that. because it definitely does kind of draw your eye in you know um just a perfectly clean club face and there's nothing to draw besides draw that white attention. yeah text. but this this kind of mm, you know <laughs> but i we're supposed to be looking at the golf ball yeah right so right. A little off the heel. Could have fooled me. Yeah. I guess I don't know distance wise what you're expecting to hit this thing, but. So I would expect around 215. Okay. Okay. 21 degrees is what my hybrid is, and that's about 215 is about where I hit it. There's some more ball speed. Yeah. 
There's hey, one. Hey, 217. Amazing. Who'd have thought it? 106 feet in the air, about 4,000 RPM, 44.3 landing angle. That's that's all. That's all good. Wow. I gotta say, this feels pretty good. I know you've said before the hybrids in your bag are not going anywhere, but hybrids in my bag are not going anywhere. This is end of story. <laughs> end of story. But it does not mean that I cannot be excited about this other is, clubs. Yes. Right? It's like, look, you go to a, you go to a restaurant and you, you order dessert, you know, after dinner, and you're really excited about your dessert. Then you walk by the, the glass case with all the desserts, and you can still be excited about those other desserts, even if yeah, you're not gonna true. eat them, yeah. right? You can't you can't eat all the desserts. Just because you you've already have ordered, all the hybrids. Just because you've already ordered does not mean you can't still look at the menu. Right, yeah. Okay. A little Healy. Did you ever see the movie Roadhouse? I've heard of it. Heard of it. Well, that's a that's, that's a step in the right I have, have not watched it. Okay. This is another there disappointing the, uh, yeah. edition of So it was, a, it was a Patrick Swayze movie. And in the movie Roadhouse, they have a house band. And the guitarist in the house band was Jeff Healy. He was, he's blind, uh, plays uh, a lap guitar. Phenomenal guitarist. Hmm. So every time I say a little Healy, I think of Roadhouse. Oh, I think of Jeff, Jeff Healy. Healy. So okay, that's uh, yeah. I, I mean, know it's a long it's a long well, road. What goes on well, in here? Here's the deal. There is going to be a, a large number of people that just watched you describe that, and they're going to be like, that. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I know what he's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't one of those people. Nope. But you were not. So this is not something that should be particularly shocking because <laughs> most of my references go right over your head. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, that felt good. Little hanger, okay, felt good, little hanger. That's what club face will do to you folks. Ooh, oh, lots speed of ball speed on, on, that, on one. that one. Ooh, with some extra spin, that, that's, a, that's a good golf okay. shot. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. 18 spin. 114 feet in the air. I could hit this thing all day, this is fun. We do have some other things to do today, oh. but. Um, oh, okay. Maybe not all day, but let you hit a few more. Okay, showing I've got all the shots. I can hit it right, I can hit it left. Occasionally I can hit it up the middle. I bet you can right here. Okay, what this do you want to see? One, tiny, tiny little draw. Tiny, tiny little draw. This is what I know your strength is, so let's do it. Yep. <laughs> Got it. All right. Nothing more needs to be said. <laughs> the enthusiastic club on Velcro or glove on Velcro. Yes. Um, so I think, was it two shots you hit off the heel? Yes. I think I know which ones they were. Yes. Um, so that's something to note with the AI Smoke HL. Yeah. Um, something to note. I mean, you still have to swing the golf club correctly and yeah. deliver the, the club. Um, those, and I think they were both off the heel maybe too, right? So. Yeah. But if we actually, I'm going to take those out here. So that was this one, and I believe your first one. Yeah. And if we do that, and you go like this. Pretty good consistency there, really. A little, yeah. bit, of, little bit of east-west spread. Yeah, well, you which, were just seeing, you know, you were just trying yeah, to I, identify I, the workability of this HL. Even in a fitting, I don't worry too much about east-west spread, especially yeah, as if, long as you're if there is some east and some west, right? That means it's just a matter of getting it dialed in. Yeah. It's, I, the more like important thing is the number, the distance. Yeah. 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 So you got, you know, your, uh, we can now kind of break down the carry yardages that you had there, mm -hmm. the ones on there, 217, 216, 13, 14, 14, 20. So you're laying the ball in a pretty similar spot yeah. distance-wise across the board, and that's going to play really well on the course. Anything else jump out at you? I'm looking at uh, the numbers here. What was the overall height average? 107. Okay, good. So that's good. just under 45. That's awesome. That's really good. I mean, yeah. this is the HL, so yeah. higher you know, launching. Hope would be get the ball up in the air. Um, 216 carry. That's really right where it should be for me. Yeah. Um, yeah. Look, feel, and sound really good. Checking really all good. the boxes. It it really did. It's it's 
It's a very, very nice hybrid and it's adjustable. So we can dial these things in even more if we need to. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with this. All right, Kevin, testing complete on the Paradigm AI Smoke HL hybrid. Um, you were very impressed. Yes, uh, I was. There's, there's, I think you, you said there's nothing to dislike about this club. No, uh, the looks are good, um, down to the color scheme. Uh, setup position's good, feels fantastic. Mm -hmm. I'm very impressed with the feel coming off the face of this golf club. Sure. I'm not always, so, uh, yeah. you know, I. I do try to be positive about most of this stuff, yeah, you yeah. know, uh, find something good to say. And there's, it's usually not difficult. Um, this one was great right off the bat. Yeah. 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 And now in terms of the golfer who this is designed for, I know we still have yet to do some testing with the standard AI smoke yeah. um, hybrid. So the comparison there is still TBD, but yeah. what, from what you experienced hitting this, um, wh what type of golfer do you think would pl play that one? So, Likelihood is that if somebody's playing the, the AI Smoke HL irons, this is probably going to be the, the, mm -hmm. the direct four iron replacement yeah. uh, or five iron replacement, you know, whatever we need there. Um, anybody could play this, though. Yeah. I, I could play this with, with no problem. Mm -hmm. I'm not somebody that necessarily needs help creating trajectory, uh, but this thing feels great, produced good numbers, right. good spin, good height. Um, anybody can play this. Yeah, because I mean, it, HL to kind of, you know, signifies high launch and right. maybe someone that needs that. But yeah. you have clearly enough speed. And I think the numbers that you saw were, were going to be plenty fine for you to play. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. too high or too spinny or anything like that. And, and then I mean, especially if you're using a hybrid out there on the course, a lot of times yeah. you are trying to land it softly yeah. on the green, maybe it's a long approach shot. It's all going to be about creating the proper gap from that, you know, what that longest iron is yeah. going to be into the hybrid. And then also creating as good a, height, spin, and landing angle number, just like we're doing with the irons, right? Any club that we're gonna hit coming into the greens, we wanna have a we want to have good stopping power. We don't want them screaming in this right. way so that we're chipping from back over the green. Yeah. Uh, we want this, it's still a scoring club. It's still a club that we're hitting into the greens with the expectation that we, we wanna get it as close as possible and we want it to stop as fast as possible. Yeah, so, so I think this club is going to achieve those things um, in a pretty efficient manner for a lot of golfers. So sure seems like it. Um, Callaway Paradigm yeah. AI Smoke HL Hybrid. Um, really, any of the AI Smoke hybrids can get fit at second swing with someone like Kevin. We'll dial you in uh, for the hybrid or hybrids, maybe multiple yeah. uh, that you need in your bag. So, Kevin, thank you for joining today and uh, hitting all the shots, giving the feedback. This is some pretty good stuff here. Thanks. This one was fun. Yeah.